All right, so in this video, I'm gonna cover the new dropdowns we have in Google Sheets. So let's just get started with this example. So I got this cell right here. I wanna make a dropdown here between yes and no. So the way you can do that, you click on a cell, you either go under insert and go drop down, or you can go under data and data validation, and it's gonna roughly take you to the same spot. So I'm just gonna go under insert and do drop down, and this is what's gonna show up. So here I'm gonna type the options. I'm gonna do yes and no. And to each one, you can give a different color if you want. So I can open this and choose, say yes to be like this color and no to be this color. And then if you wanted more options, you click add another item and do that option, obviously, which I don't really want. So if you go on the right side of this, you can remove this. There might be some sort of trash can here that's invisible for me at least, but just know that on this right side, we have the remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because I don't want that. Now under this advanced options, we have options to show warning if there's something else entered in the cell or just reject any other input. I don't want anything else to be entered in the cell, so I just want the yes and no, so I'm gonna do that. And then you got display style. So you got chip, arrow, and plain text. So chip is what I'm gonna do. I'll show you what the arrow does too in just a second. So I'm gonna do chip, hit done. And what's gonna happen now if you just take a look right here, now I got this little, what's called a chip. You can open that, that gives you yes and no. See with those colors I chose. So if I hit yes, I got yes. If I hit no, I got no. If you wanna clear the cell, you will have to just click on the white space here and press delete on your keyboard and that should clear that selection. So at this point we got our yes and no. So now I can work off of that. So for example, I could say if this equals yes, then maybe we want to do like $50 bonus. Otherwise we do zero bonus, something like that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more here. And that's my formula. And then at this point, I can create my total. I can say, take this plus this. So at this point, this says yes. So we get 50 bonus. If I switch this to no, that will basically do bonus zero. You'll get your update. So that's your drop down, as you can see, pretty straightforward. So if you wanna go back and modify this, you can click on this, go to data and go to data validation. And that brings you to this, which shows you what validations you have applied. And this is the one I did for that cell B2. So if I click on this, it goes back to the same menu. You can now go back here, add more options, modify this, etc. And if I go to advanced options here, if I switch from chip to arrow, so you can see what happens, Basically, it's not gonna do that circle chip. It's basically just a cell like this with a drop down uh, between yes and no, like that. And as you can see, that works just fine. I'm gonna zoom out to get to this. So as you can see, we can also open this and click on this little pencil. That also takes you to the same spot to modify this. So all of that is the same. And if you wanna just get rid of this, you can just hit remove rule and that should just remove that drop down with the validation and just to show you what happens with that validation if i just undo this if you do have that validation in place and you have the drop down if you remember i chose the option to reject any other input which means if you try to for example enter something like other it will basically reject that input and won't let you enter that. So the only things I can have here is yes and no, because I chose the option here to reject any other input. Now, if you do warning, it will let you type other things, but it will give you a little warning. So that's that. Now, the other thing I wanna show you here is that you can also do this validation for a whole range. So for example, if you have 
a table like this and you want to add a column, let's say status. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the same color coding here with the paintbrush here. So here I can just select this whole range and go to insert and do a drop down. And basically you just choose your options, right? Maybe you want status like shipped, you want pending, and you want another one like canceled. Something like that. And then under advanced options, if you want to change any of these other options, you can. I'm just going to leave it as is, hit done. And there it is for this whole range. Now we have those drop downs to choose from between shipped, canceled, and pending. And it will change the color based on the selection, based on what I did here. And then obviously you can go back and change that option by going under data and data validation. That brings the same menu. You can open that validation and start making any necessary changes you may have. Now, finally, the last option I'm going to cover here is that these options you do, like in this case, I did like shipped, pending, canceled. Right now, I did hard-coded options from this list I just type. But sometimes you might want to do something different. Let's say you add a tab here. I'm going to call it options. And here we can just add those options we're thinking of. So let's say I want shipped, pending, and then canceled. Then I'll just call these options, this top one, which you don't need really, but I'm going to do that anyways. So what you could do when you do your validations, so I can go back here. I'm going to do that separately here. I'll do status again. And basically here, I'm going to select this range, go to insert and do drop down. But this time, instead of doing the regular drop down here, I'm going to switch this to drop down from a range. And when I do that, it's going to ask me, where's the range? So I can click on this, click here, go to that options and highlight these three options. So if I had OK, that does this. See, it picks up those options from that list. And again, you could choose your colors for these different options. And we could also go under advanced options and change all the settings like you usually can. Now, I'm not going to do that, but what I am going to do, see how this goes from A2 through A4. I'm just going to remove the four like this, and that's going to send it all the way down in that A column. So I'm going to hit done. So right now I'm under options tab. I'm going to move back to this tab where I was doing the validation. And you can see here, I got my validation options and I got shipped pending canceled. It looks like at some point I lost the color when I was making changes. We'll go back and fix that in a second. But right now you can see these options are basically coming from this options list. So if I go here and change some of this, and maybe instead of shipped and pending, I got shipped and packed. So if I go back, you'll see that now this automatically updates to packed. And then I can go back and add maybe more options here, like pending. And you can see that should automatically now also show up in this list of options. And if I go back and modify this, see, I'm going to repopulate some colors here. And as you can see, because I just clicked on this first cell and it knows that we have all these drop downs here that have the same validation, it's basically just asking us, do you want to apply this to all of them or just this one? So I want it for all of them. So I'm going to do apply to all. And you can see we got our options here, shipped, packed, canceled, etc. And yet again, if you just go here and type like other as another option, go back to this, you should be able to see that option pops up here too.
And that's another way to do this validation, to use a range from the spreadsheet. So if you wanna be able to just come back and add more options like this and just automatically have them pop up in the list, you could do this. And of course, if you wanna get rid of those, again, you could highlight all of these, go to data, go to data validation. And the one I just did was this one for F column. So I'm just gonna remove the rule. So again, there is probably a little trash can icon here if you zoom out enough, but unfortunately they don't have this handled very well right now. So I'm just gonna click on this. That will remove that validation. And with that, they're all gone. And that's how this drop-down multicolor validations work in Google Sheets now. If you have any questions, just leave them in comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.